On October 6, 2024, aviation enthusiasts and defense observers witnessed a rare flight of the scaled composites Ares, Agile Responsive Effective Support, aircraft near the Mojave Air and Space Port. Despite being 34 years old, this close air support, CAS, demonstrator remains a valuable research platform for the U.S. Army. First taking to the skies on February 19, 1990, the Ares continues to contribute to aviation research and development, retaining much of its original design and functionality. In the early 1980s, the U.S. Army sought a low-cost battlefield attack aircraft, LCBA, to provide close air support in anti-tank operations. The requirements called for a versatile aircraft capable of operating in low-altitude environments with long endurance and from unimproved airstrips. Spearheading this initiative were Army aviators Jim Kreutz and Milo Burroughs, who in 1981 envisioned a highly maneuverable aircraft suited for low-altitude combat. This vision laid the groundwork for what would become the Ares. Partnering with Scaled Composites, led by renowned aircraft designer Bert Rutten, the U.S. Army developed the Ares under the company's model number 151. The aircraft was designed with a canard configuration, featuring a foreplane for pitch control. This foreplane was engineered to stall before the main wings, improving safety in low-altitude operations, a key design element for battlefield survivability. While originally designed to be powered by a turboprop engine, the Ares was later modified to use a Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15 DEET-5 turbofan engine, producing 13.12 knots of thrust. This decision was crucial for ensuring the aircraft could operate from unimproved surfaces, reducing the risk of debris being ingested by the engine during takeoff and landing. One of the most distinctive features of the Ares is its asymmetrical design. The aircraft mounts a GU-12-U equalizer 25mm rotary cannon on the right side of the nose, with the engine intake on the left. This configuration minimizes the impact of the cannon's powerful recoil on the aircraft's performance while preventing exhaust gases from being ingested by the engine. The cannon is recessed beneath the cockpit in a specially designed cavity, further reducing recoil forces and preventing damage to the aircraft. The Ares made its first flight on February 19, 1990, piloted by Scaled Composites test pilot Doug Shane. Since then, the aircraft has accumulated over 430 flight hours under the tail number N151SC. In November 1991, the Ares demonstrated its CAS capabilities during tests of the GAU-12 Equalizer Cannon, proving the platform's effectiveness in battlefield support. This testing paved the way for the cannon's integration into multiple military aircraft, including the ASIC 130U Spooky Gunship, Avian 8 Harrier II, and the AH-1 Cobra Helicopter. Despite these successful demonstrations, the U.S. military never adopted the Ares for operational use. However, its value as a research platform has kept it flying. After being stored in 2000, the Ares returned to flight in 2008 under Northrop Grumman's ownership, following their acquisition of scaled composites. Today, the aircraft serves as a test bed for a variety of research initiatives, including conceptual design, aerodynamics, and flight testing. In 2020, the Ares was seen flying alongside its successors, the Model 401 Son of Ares jets in the Mojave Desert. These flights featured a reflective, metallic-like surface coating, suggesting research into aircraft signatures and infrared technologies. Scaled Composites has a history of conducting similar experiments with other platforms, including their Proteus testbed, which has been equipped with large electro-optical system pods. These activities highlight the growing importance of flight testing in the southwest U.S. desert with increasing participation from military jets and research aircraft. Observations of advanced platforms such as F-15s equipped with infrared spectrum data collection pods suggest that the Ares and its counterparts are contributing to critical research on sensor systems, including infrared search and track technologies and low-power lasers. The Ares also gained a measure of fame outside of the research community, playing the role of a fictional German jet, the Mean 263, in the 1992 film Aces, Iron Eagle 3. This role added to the aircraft's mystique, showcasing its versatility and unique design. The Ares boasts a compact yet powerful design, with a length of 8.97 meters, a wingspan of 10.67 meters, and a height of 2.99 meters. Its wing area covers 17.5 square meters, and the aircraft has an empty weight of 1,308 kilograms, with a maximum takeoff weight of 2,767 kilograms. Equipped with a single Pratt & Whitney JT-15D turbofan engine, the Ares reaches speeds of 750 km per hour at altitudes up to 7,620 meters, 
with a service ceiling of 10,668 meters. It has an impressive combat range of 1,110 kilometers, making it ideal for low-altitude missions. The Ares is equipped with a 25mm GU-12-U Gatling cannon and can carry air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-9 Sidewinder or AIM-92 Stinger, as well as unguided rockets and other air-to-ground weapons. The aircraft's low-altitude capabilities and ability to operate from unimproved airstrips continue to make it relevant for research and testing in battlefield conditions. Although the scaled composites Ares may not have been adopted for full operational use, its 34-year history demonstrates its lasting impact as a research test bed for the U.S. Army. With its unique design, powerful armament, and continued flight testing, the Ares remains a symbol of innovation in military aviation. As it continues to participate in cutting-edge research, this remarkable aircraft shows that its best days may still lie ahead.